Action TV. Education. 
It's an everyday battle that confronts all of us, regardless of who we are and where we are from. As a malaria free Philippines spokesperson, I have always lived up to my faith in humanity, cultural understanding, and respect for others. These are what I will continue to stand for if I become your next Miss Grand International. I will be a channel of hope, compassion, and unity to stand and form and stop any form of war and violence in this world. As we face the COVID free world, join me as we work together in mending our conflicts and focusing on what truly matters. We are living under one sky, so let us all live peacefully. Where well, love is our language, humanity in our race, and peace is our lasting legacy to the world. Please put your hands together for all of our top 10 finalists here. Absolutely beautiful. But ladies and gentlemen, we are about to come upon another very exciting moment. We are about to move from a top 10 to a top 5. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's meet our top 5 Miss Grand International 2020. The results are in my hand here. Our first contestant into the top five of MGI 2020 is Miss Grand. Miss Grand, United States of America. Only five ladies are going through. We have one more to go. Next up, our second lovely lady into the top five this evening. Are you ready? Let's go with Miss Grand. Congratulations to all of our ladies here. 
Wow. Caliber, the caliber B. Things are really hot up here. Top five. Congratulations to our top five once again, and thank you to our... If you're ready, the question is, with the current COVID-19 situation, what would you choose between? Either shutting down the country for the safety of the people, knowing that the country's economy will be deeply affected, or opening up the country to keep the economy running and taking the risk of COVID-19 infections and consequences. Let me repeat the question. What would you choose? With the current COVID-19 situation, would you choose between shutting down the country for the safety of the people, knowing that the country and its economy will be deeply affected, or would you open up the country to keep the economy running, taking the risk of COVID-19 infections and the consequences? Which one would you choose and why? I believe in proper solutions. Whenever there's a problem, I believe that we have to sit down and analyze. I will shut down the country because I believe that people come first. The people, my people, if I was the government of a country, if I was the governor, if I was the president of a country, I would put my people first. I would do what's right for my people. And by shutting down the country, that will give me the proper time to be able to analyze what's going on and provide for my people. So I will shut down the country. Thank you very much. Next up, Grandsa. Miss Grand Philippines. Laban, be Laban. Laban. Laban, Laban. Yes. I will always choose the people because without its people, a country will never be a country. We will never be a Philippines without Filipinos. We will never be Thailand without Thai. So it is must that we should take care of our people first. I stand here for love and peace and unity because there will always be the solution no matter what our problems in this life. And I think if we come together as people, as one united world, then we can have a better place to live in. I hope after this pandemic, COVID-19 happens, we can be a better citizens. Papa and Papa. Next, Miss Grand Brazil. Bobby! Laga pa ko lang yan, laga pa ko lang yan. Ang sarap yan tapos niya. Iba? I know that to run our society, we need economy. But we cannot go anywhere without help. That's why I decided to study medicine. So it's my duty to defend people's health. So of course, I would choose to stay home. And then, once we control this pandemic, we'll be able to work again and get money again and raise our business again. So, as I always say, altruism is the answer, shot. is the key for everything. If we stay together, if we help each other, we are going to be able to have our business back. But help get you to the same Take care of you because it's great. It's the best we God <laughs> Next to us, uh, this grand Indonesia. I would rather to close the country because I believe we have to focus on our people and we have to organize everything more easily. And using this platform as a misread international, I believe we can spread the positivity even though we, have, we cannot go outside. We can still touch life of each other. And I am ready to work with misread international. That's it. Thank you. And finally, misread what? Nothing in this world has more value than a human life. Without hesitation, I would choose to shut down the country. 
without its people, the economy is useless. If we come together, we care for one another, and we work hard, nothing can ever stop us. Not a pandemic, not a war, nothing. Because as humans, together, I was learning. Kapunka. And those are, those are the answers from our top five. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. Next week, guys, we are going to find out who the new Miss Grand International 2020 will be. Are you ready? Don't go away. See you soon. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, are you ready to crown Miss Grand International 2020? Make some noise! Here we go guys, this is the moment we have been waiting for all evening. First up, we will start with our fourth runner-up in Miss Grand International 2020. Fourth runner-up is... Indonesia or Brazil. Miss Grand Brazil! Grand Brazil, our fourth runner up here, MGI 2020. <laughs> okay guys, we have had our fourth runner up. Next up will be our third runner up. Who will she be? Our third runner up. Miss Grand International 2020 is Indonesia. Miss Grand Indonesia. Indonesia. Ah! Ah! USA or Guatemala? Guatemala. Guatemala, second round. Ah! Ah, second round. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, something very strange has happened here. We have three remaining contestants. It seems that we cannot continue to announce the results because their scores are even here. The remaining contestants' scores are even. Therefore, our Miss Grand International President, Mr. Nawat Asarakraisin, has made the decision to erase their scores. Miss Grand International 2020 will be decided on one more One question. question. <laughs> Could I have the question, have please? If there is only one dose of COVID-19 vaccine left, and you have to choose who to give it to, either between a 15-year-old or a senior citizen of 17 years old, who would you choose to give it to? And why? I repeat, if there is only one dose of COVID-19 vaccine left, you have to choose who to give it to, either a 15-year-old or a 70-year-old senior citizen. Which one would you give it to and why? Thank you very much. I would choose to give it to the 16-year-old only because I believe that children are the future. They are going to make the world a better place. They are the ones that are going to set examples for the future generation. And I believe that I will give it to the 16-year-old because I want the 16-year-old to have a better future in life. I believe that they are going to change the world. We need change for our world. Pope Rao. <laughs> Pope Rao. Thank you. Next to answer, Miss Grand 
Laliman mo, Bi. Laliman mo. Nakakalo. My heart goes to senior citizen because my mom is turning senior citizen. And I experienced the loss of my dad four years ago and I cannot afford to lose my mom. My heart goes to them because they are the most vulnerable during this time. A 15 year old has the stamina to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and with proper exercise and healthy living, they can live with it. I know as well that every citizen here will choose and never afford to lose their parents. And so I will choose senior citizens. is that the young people need a platform to speak with their voice. We have the potential to change our communities. All we need is the ability and a platform to do so. And I know that by giving it to the youth, they will help others around them. So that would be my decision. Thank you. Please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these three beautiful ladies here, our three finalists here. And we are about to announce and crown this grand international 2020. I believe the judges have tallied our results. Look at how them now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I said, are you ready? Let's make some noise for our second runner-up here. This Grand International 2020 second runner-up is Miss Grand Guatemala. Guatemala.
the show this evening, Miss Fashion National 2020. The excitement, the thrills, the show. All 63 of these stunning ladies. And her first walk. One more time, guys. Miss Fashion National.